All right, welcome back to the physics tutorials. And my name is Samuel D. Koide, and I still want to continue with the electrical uh, uh, connections. And we look at the electric, simple electrical circuit. We have done the first circuit involving the resistance box. Now we want to look at a constant time wire, standard resistor, and an ammeter. And uh, in the earlier, I told you what is an ammeter and what does it do to current. It measures current, and I told you how it is connected in the circuit. It is always connected in series with the circuit, and the uh, voltmeter is always connected in parallel. Don't forget that that's a, those are the basic principles on electrical circuit connections. So we have already seen that. Um, we already know the cell, of, like I told you the other day, this is a cell and the, the, this long line there is the positive terminal and this one is the negative terminal. So the, what the ammeter there is A, which is measuring the current through the circuit. So it is connected in series with the circuit. As you see, this is a resistor, this is a fixed resistor. Now it could also be in this form this way it's another resistor that's one ohms resistor so I, i'm going to show you all of them so this is a this is a two ohms resistor this is a resistor but what i have here is a one ohm resistor now this is the one ohm resistor you see the one ohm resistor somewhere there there and now i have um, enforced the, the cell to give me a three point a uh, three volt battery so now this is the positive terminal negative terminal it's like um, you, if you were to connect it manually this is what is supposed to be done this is what i've connected here so far that's the cell this is the the negative this is the black of the negative here is that black that's the one here this is the black here and this is the positive this is the positive the red here is the positive so this this battery is this but i've just connected it here so that i can fix this is that is in the case we have some of you in your laboratories you have a, a battery holders like this so you have a battery holder like this you can you can still have a battery holder like this you have the battery in there and you collect it there and you have your terminals here and they will go like that so if you don't have this sophisticated type you can still use the one that is the one that is common in our, most of the labs there so you use, use the battery cage and that was, that's, i was just trying to explain how it is connected this is a negative terminal that's negative there and this is plus as one here so i have enforced this this is 1.5 1.5 so i've got a three volts over there so that is the the cell that is here so now i'm i'm having a three volts there so far so that's what i've written so when i have this this negative move from the battery it goes to the to the black of this is the black the black terminal because it's negative there is going to that black terminal that's why you see here it's moving from the negative terminal here it's going to the black of the ammeter that is the black of the ammeter is entering that to that as it is so now this is the black of the terminal that is the, the negative and now when you leave negative here you enter negative you leave plus here you left the plus there and that is the the positive terminal as the red is leaving that and it's coming to the key the key is a Key, the key is just a conduit. The key, it's more from that plus. It comes to the key. That is the key. This is the key. So this black, this move and come to that key. This is the key. The key here is just a switch. Now it is a conduit. A conduit just allow the charges to pass or stop the charges from coming. That's the, the switch can do that. You can put it, the circuit off or put it on. So now we have from the key, you now go to the jockey. This is a jockey. Yes, I can give you a typical example of a jockey. Uh, I think I have a jockey somewhere there. So I have a typical jockey. So this is a jockey. In case you you have not seen that before, this is a jockey. Now it's a jockey. So what, what I'm doing here with this jockey, I, I was supposed to uh, because I want to clip it onto the. Uh, so I'm using a crocodile clip to get that instead of the jockey, but this is the jockey according to this question It was supposed to be the jockey which I'll put to the constant time wire like that But now I want to get if a correct position of my measurement So I use the, the crocodile clip instead of the jockey there But when I'm using it on a potentiometer, I can use the jockey as well. This is a jockey oh, so Now you know what's a jockey. Now this is the constant time uh, from the resistor. That is the resistor This is the constant time wire this is this is a constant time wire this is a constant time wire and it has different thickness 
so we have 26 gram and we have 28 gram so you can see the thickness is different this is a constant time wire you, you in this experiment they just gave us a little bit from here to here that's a constant time wire i see here so now this constant time wire it's also it's a resistor we can check that as we go so we it is as it is increasing remember the relationship between resistor and length you know so uh, resistor and current so i've done resistor and voltage watch that in the circuit i connected so now we also want to look at what happens to the the ohm's law ohm's law says that so if i want to find i i is v over r so it means that the v is inversely the r is the r is inversely proportional to the it means that the i is going to be inversely proportional to the resistance so it means that as i'm increasing the length because the resistance is directly proportional to the length so if i increase the length of the constant time wire in that circuit that is how the resistance is going to increase so as the resistance increases then you expect the current to to flow to flow to, to drop because it is inversely proportional the current is inversely proportional to the when the resistance is actually opposition so when you create more opposition to the uh, to the current then the current is going to flow less but when you give a, a, a very small opposition then the current will flow so that is the relationship here it's if i increase the resistance then the current is supposed to drop so you're going to see as i'm moving i'm going to the extreme cases there i'll take a longer distance a longer distance and we check the current then i take a, a shorter distance and we check the current so this is because of time so we have a uh, let me see i uh, have a yes so now we i was looking for this uh, rule so now this is the meter rules given to you the meter rule is to uh, actually get the length of this uh, this this uh, resist the constant time wire which is by extension the resistance you know that resistance is directly proportional to length so if i'm increasing the constant time wire, the length of the constant time wire that is how the resistance goes so 0 0.8 meter is 80 centimeter here so i'm i'm going to look at the constant time wire now you have let's complete the circuit this is the key and that is the resist resistance is there that's the resistance there and the cell there then the ammeter there and you have the key and you have the constant time wire this is a constant time wire it's moving from this terminal here so I, i'm supposed to measure first i want to measure a very short distance like a, a long distance 0 0.8 that is 80 centimeter so i put it right here that i make sure it's on this on the zero line so i move it move with it until i get to 80 this is 80 centimeter is somewhere here so this is the 80 centimeter 80 centimeter is 0 0.8 meter so that is the length of that from the 80 centimeter i've measured it here on the meter rule that is the 80 centimeter now from that 80 centimeter i keep the rule there this is the 80 centimeter i can have it bend it so i don't mess I don't miss the position. Then I take the crocodile clip, clip. That is the crocodile clip here. The crocodile clip. This you take the crocodile clip and you attach it there. And this is so. It is this 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 resistance here. This whole length is this length L. It is now 0 0.8. So when the resistance increases, you you when the length increases, you expect the resistance to increase because resistance is directly proportional to the length. So now let's see what when the when the resistance increase of course you expect the current to drop so let's see what is going to be that current is reading right now there so it is 0 0.3 so now i have increased so let, let me let me first watch watch the this is it is it is op, uh, it is open now i have not switched on the 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 I have not put on the key yet. So now that is zero reading. Now I'll read the current when the resistance is uh, the length of the constant time is 0 0.8. That's the 0 0.8. I've attached it there. Now I'm closing the key. When I close the key, now I get a reading. So it is 0 0.4. 0 0.4 amps. So I have 0 0.4 amps on here. Uh, 0 0.4 amps here. So just look at that figure and now i'm i'm bringing it down to 0 0.4 that is the length is now reducing to 40 centimeter so to 40 centimeter remember that so i start I'll, I'll open the key so now i'm coming to 
drop it, drop the length. That was for 0 0.8. Now I'm dropping it to 0 0.4. Let's see what will happen. So for 0 0.4 there, this is it there. Now it is 40 centimeter. That is 0 0.4. It's 40 centimeter. So around here, I have 40. This is 40. That is halfway that length. So I just wanted you to see the variation in the current so that you see that uh, whether the relationship is holding. So this is now halfway that length. The length, the first length was that. So this is the halfway, that is 0 0.4. So 0 0.4, I just get that position. I connect my, my crocodile clip somewhere there. That is still there. Now I want to see what happens to the current. Now it's still zero. So, so you see that it has, it has gone, the current has increased. It has gone because I have reduced the length. The current has, it is now around 0 0.45, 0 0.45. So the, the, the batteries are not so good right now, but we have seen that the, the, it is 0 0.45. So now 0 0.45, you see that it has, it has increased, the current has increased. Why is it increasing a little bit? It's because it has increased from 0 0.4 to 0 0.5. Why? Because the length, the length has reduced. When the length reduces, you expect the resistance to reduce. And when the resistance reduces, then the resist resistance actually is the opposition because there is a, 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 a direct there is an opposition to the, a small opposition to the flow of current. You expect the, the charges to pass very fast. So that is why the current, the pump is now greater than when it was there. So when it was this, it was, the, it was 0 0.4. Now the current was low. Now when I reduce the length, the current now dropped to 0 0.45. So now you can now use these figures. I just wanted you to see the variation. That's why I use the length and the, to see what happens to the current. The current increase when the resistance was also uh, reduced because as the resistance as the length reduces the resistance reduces as the resistance reduces the current flows because that is the relationship if this is i then you expect the resistance to be high if i expect my i to be big then i expect the resistance to be small so as the resistance is becoming smaller the current i is going up that's 0 0.45 it's above 0 0.4 yeah, so that, that is how you are going to do for the rest of the you you can vary now you can use your own apparatus and you you can, you can as well see so i can even put it very low when i put it very low let me just see uh, zero point zero point this is 10 so let's say 10 i put it at 10 centimeter 10 centimeter is 0 0.1 so i put it here i say 0 0.1 10 centimeter yeah so 10 centimeter now, now you see, so it has gone up to even 0 0.5 now, almost 0 0.5. So when I drop it to 10 centimeter, that's 0 0.1. Let's say this was 0 0.3, 0 0.2, then I say 0 0.1. I have already got the, the it's almost 0 0.5. So it is 0 0.50. So you can see that the, four, the, the more I drop the length, I reduce the length, that's how the current is increasing. So that is a relationship there. So you can just look at it, I can drop it further, see the current is, is increasing because the length is becoming smaller. But when I drop it, let me extend it somewhere, somewhere there. If I move it far up there, this way, we see that it, the current is, see, the current is now reduced because I'm increasing because when I increase I have increased the length when I increase the length the current drop but when I put it down here just follow up you see what, what is happening here because I've dropped it down here the current is high there that is because the length is small when the length is small the resistance is small the resistance small then you, you expect a bigger current to flow that is the current is flowing there is higher now if I increase the length let's say I put it right to the extreme here that's around 100 centimeter also, or even 90. You see what happened to the current? The current has dropped. The current has dropped because I've increased the length. So the more I increase the length, the more the resistance, and the more the resistance, the lesser the current because resistance is inversely proportional to current. So then that is the constant time wire. 
uh, circuit with the ammeter. Watch out how it is connected. The ammeter is connected in series there, and you know what goes to what. So I yeah, you know if I move from that negative, I enter the negative of the ammeter. And that is to continue the potential, the, the, the line of the circuit. So now that is it. This is the circuit for you. This is the key. And that is um, the end of that question. Now you can proceed with this in your own laboratory. You have just given you a link between them to show you the relationship between the current, how the current is changing as the length of the constant time wire is also changing, which is by extension the length of the, the, the resistance because the resistance is directly proportional to the length and as the length increases, the resistance increases, then the current is bound to drop. So, because if the, the resistance is increasing, then the current must drop. That is the relationship between them here. So that's what we have seen so far. You see the, the current is increasing increasing because the length of the constant time wire is reducing by extension the, the resistance is also increasing so we have already verified it so now what you can do for yourself is to go to your own laboratory and try to put these materials together and verify all what I've said here as you also seen so thank you for your audience watch out for the next video